Hey guys, welcome. So today we're having a look at the trailer, uh, trailer number two for The Black Phone. It's a horror movie starring Ethan Hawke, who I'm currently enjoying on Moon Knight with Oscar Isaac from Marvel. Very, very good. So this horror film has been, well, it's, it's, I think it's been delayed due to COVID. I know it's just getting released in America at the, at the moment, like there's some preview screenings or it's getting released soon. But it's something I've been really looking forward to watching. The first trailer was good. And it's, uh, I've got Ethan Hawke playing a uh, creepy bad guy who likes to wear masks. So what I think it's about so far, just judging from that first trailer, is Ethan Hawke is a bad guy that kidnaps children, locks them in a room with nothing but a black phone, and then the spirits of the previous children who have been murdered contact the kid, and there's they try to help him escape the room. That's very generic, but I'm, I, I think that's what it basically is about. And apparently it's been released on 30th of June, so it's still got a while before it comes out, like next month. So I'm pretty excited to dive into this new trailer, so let's just dive in and, um, and check it out. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. Let's do it. So I'm very excited to see this one. So he's... yeah. Would you like to see a magic trick? Oh, Ethan. Don't be a jerk. So kid, kid, kidnaps the kids. If you haven't heard of the black phone, you will soon. Tell me your name. Oh my god. Taylor. Oh my god. I was really starting to like you, Finny. I almost let you go. Oh, the exorcism of Emily Rose is terrifying. Don't hang up. Who are you? Dead kid. It doesn't work. Yes, it does. Hang it up. I, I do like Ethan Hawke. Been a fan for a lot of years. Some breakfast. Where'd you put that? Poison. Oh, pepper. Salt and pepper. And rat sack. Have you seen this boy? My brother. He was taken. By a man with black balloons. <laughs> black balloons. Stop it! I had a dream about it. Let the dreams be real. Oh, cracky. Is Pennywise gonna turn up? What's the combination? Hang up the phone! Oh! Damn thing. Yeah. June 24. Okay. I need a moment. Um, yeah, like I said, been, been a big fan of uh, Ethan Hogg for a lot of years, so to see him do something so radically different is very cool. Directed by Scott Derrickson. Um, and they had his credits in that opening of the trial there. Oh, he's also directing... He directed Doctor Strange, Sinister, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, uh, Deliver Us from Evil. So I've seen a lot of his movies. The Snowpiercer TV series, which I've not seen, but I have seen the Chris Evans movie. It was weird. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, so I'd, 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 I need to see it again. Uh, producer, He produced a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, directing credits, in, including Two Eyes Staring, which is coming soon, When Gravity Falls, Untitled Labyrinth Project. So these are all products, product, projects that have been announced. Um, yeah, Doctor Strange, which wasn't my favorite Marvel movie, to be completely honest with you, but I'm very excited to see Sam Raimi's sequel, uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Oh, that was um, the Keanu Reeves remake. The Exorcism of Emily Rose, like I said, it's one of the most terrifying horror movies I've ever seen. It really stayed with me afterwards and, 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 and gave me the chills. I've seen it twice, I think. It's, it's terrifying. It's really, really good. Um, 
Hellraiser Inferno, Love in, Ru Love in Ruins, which was a short. So he's done some good stuff. Uh, like I said, the Ex Exorcism of Emily Rose is my favorite one so far. So I'm pretty excited to see what he does with this one. Um, the cast, I don't really know anybody in the cast list. So it's uh, Ethan Hawke, credited as The Grabber. The Grabber, that's, that's his name in this movie. Uh, Jeremy Davies, I recognize. But not really, not really anyone else. Um, Mason Thames as Finney Shaw, the, the main kid. So yeah, the concept is in is intriguing like he's kidnapping these children murdering them and then the latest boy the latest victim has got contact with all the spirits of the dead kids that have been murdered before so it looks like it's uh gonna be very good cannot wait to see it anyway guys please comment below let me know what you think don't forget like and subscribe maybe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my, of my amazing reactions i'll catch you next time thanks for watching